On to chapter 21. Now, chapter 21 is just further going into detail what we talked about into in chapter 20. And really, we're continuing the idea of forces and that electrical particles, positive or negative, have forces. And they apply forces just like gravity does. So an electrical field is a field that surrounds any charged object, just like a gravitational field is a field, a field that surrounds any mass. Same thing that we've talked about, but with the idea of an electrical field. So the forces that do work, you can transfer energy within this force field. How do we exactly measure a force field around a charged particle? Well, it's pretty simple. We're going to put a test particle at a specific point. So at any particular distance in this electric field, we're going to put a test particle. We're going to know that test particle, and we're going to know the distance, really, in the field that that test particle is. Now, uh, let me scratch what I just said about the distance there. We're going to put a test particle in the field, and we're going to be able to measure the force that is applied within the field. So we're going to know two things. We're going to know the charge of the particle, how strong it is, and whether it's positive or negative, and then we're going to be able to measure the force that is applied on that. And with those two things, we can measure the electric field. So electric field, E, is equal to F, force, divided by Q, and Q is our test charge. And what we have here is an electric force kind of on the bottom of the screen here to kind of map what it looks like between two charges, between a positive and negative charge. So if we do some mathematics with the electrical field, we can get two problems. Let's do the first one first here. An electric field. An electric field is measured using a positive chest charge of 3.0 times 10 to the negative 6. So right away, we know the value of our test charge, and the value of our chest charge is Q, which is 3.0 times 10 to the negative 6. Next up, this test charge experiences a force of 12.12 12 newtons. So our force is 0.12 newtons at an angle of 15 degrees north of east. What are the magnitude and direction of the electric field at the location of the test charge? Well, E is equal to force divided by charge. That's equal to 0.12, <coughs> excuse me, divided by Q. And we know Q is 3.0 times 10 to the negative 6. We go ahead and we do our math, and we figure out that our force field is 4.0 times 10 to the fourth. Now, what is our units going to be for this? What's the unit for force? Newtons. What's the unit for charge? Coulombs. So we're going to have newtons per coulomb. So our electric field strength is 4.0 times 10 to the fourth newtons per coulomb. That's the magnitude, how much, and direction. Well, the direction, I already said, it, the force was applied at 15 degrees north of east, so our direction would be north of east at 15 degrees. Second part of this question, then, when we're dealing with electric fields, is what is the electric field strength at a point that is 0 0.30 meters to the right of a small sphere with a charge of 4.0 times 10 to the negative 6. Well, now, it's not giving us the force. It's not giving us the force, but we can solve for the force. We can solve for the force using Coulomb's law. And remember, Coulomb's law is force is equal to K times Q1 times Q2 over R squared. K is not going to change. K is Coulomb's constant, 9.0 times 10 to the 9th, times Q1. Q1 is going to be our original charge here in the problem, for negative 4.0 times 10 to the negative 6, times Q2. Q2 is going to be our test charge from the first example. And the first example, our test charge, was 3.0 times 10 to the negative 6. It states they're separated by 0.3 meters, so we're going to take 0 0.30 and squared. And when we do that, we're going to figure out our force is negative 1.2 newtons. We can take this answer then, 
and just plug it in because we know electric field is equal to force divided by Q. Well, our force is negative 1.2. Our test charge is Q, which from the first part of the question is 3.0 times 10 to the negative 6. You divide this out and you end up getting the answer of 4.0 times 10 to the 5th. And remember, our units for our electric field strength are newtons per coulomb. So that is what we have for newtons per coulomb. Force divided by charge. F divided by Q. Now, if we take the math and we kind of summarize what is it going to look like if we could actually visualize an electric field, it's going to be very similar to what a gravitational field is or a magnetic field. You're going to have field lines going back and forth between the two charges or the two masses. And what we do typically is we use lines or arrows towards negative and away from positive. So we go positive to negative charges, very similar to kind of what our blue lines are doing here. Imagine we have our blue lines in this diagram right below here going from positive to negative. Other than that, that is the electric field charge. You'll have some problems on that in class test.